Okay, so we've ordered the Grand Big Mac. As you can see here, we've ordered a Grand Mac on its own. And I got the Big Mac and fries for one ninety nine, which you can get by bringing the receipt back after doing the food for thought. Um, so I did that. We did it. 23.34. So I just finished work and got some food. They gave me a free Coke, which was a large. Not quite sure why they did that. It was quite busy, so it could have possibly been that, but also I've been known to have it before. So it could just be that they've read that it says Big Mac and fries and just assumed it was a meal. So they've also given me large fries. Again, don't know why. Could be either of the two reasons I just said or another one. Uh, right out of the gate, the big, the box is quite significantly bigger, actually. So let's see if we can get some food out here. Get this out of the way. See, they are a large fry. And you normally just, it is just a regular fries. It says on the receipt. But actually it just says fries, but on here, M fries. So, it's normally just a regular medium fries. The one that's like one pound nine pence, I believe. So, but as you can see, the Mac boxes, it is slightly taller. And, as you can see, it's a bit bigger. Not quite sure how much by. But yeah, the box itself is a bit bigger. I've changed the Big Mac box. I've put the 50 years on the side of it. And the fact that you can have the Mac Jr. and Grand Mac. Until the 20th of March. I did not know that. So... Still got the original standard on there that I've had for quite some time now. And the back, the uh, bottom has nothing on it. This one, this one's got more of the original stuff. Right? It's got like the ingredients on the side and a picture of a tractor. That's the, oh, my new website, it's on Papa. Same underneath. Uh, as far as weight is concerned, I'm not gonna do this like officially and weigh it. I don't really know to be honest with you. It does it feel it feels heavier because the box is bigger. I think it is heavier. I'm pretty sure that's heavier. Right, let's open them up and see how well they were constructed today. Because got one yesterday, well wasn't that great? Okay, if I can open this one handed here, here we go. Okay, so looking at them straight away, the Big Mac, the normal Big Mac, is more fitted in its box. It's more correct with its size. And it has been built better. Like, it's not perfect, but to be fair, this is one of the most, probably one of the best ones I've I've had in a while now. Whereas, like, I've not touched this at all. Um, my Grand Mac, the box has been ripped open under the weight, I guess, maybe. Because um, it's quite flimsy. Whereas this is a bit more rigidity because it's not as big. And the burger is like all falling over and whatnot. That's two slices of cheese there. So that's pretty good. Because you only get the one on the Big Mac. No sauce again, look. Right there, look. No sauce. Like, this is very dry with no sauce. No sauce there either. That's... No sauce there, really? I'm going to have to go and get my my burger sauce. Look at that. Two pickles always put right next to each other. What? Why? Why do they do that? Why do they have to put the pickles together? Why can't they do them separate? Like put like one like here and one like here or something. Do you know what I mean? So then, so that's when you eat that, you have a two pickle right in the center. When you take one bite, you get two pickles. So, it's very annoying. Right, so let's just go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and try them now. And... Try the both of them, and then I'll see if there's like any sort of a taste difference. I would assume these are going to taste exactly the same. The burger in here just looks like the one from the Quarter Pounder, as it is just a slightly bigger, slightly bigger patty compared. 
Um, there's a one in here I can pull out. I think this one maybe. Separate that one. Yep, I can take that one straight off. So there's the size difference. As you can see, it's more across right here. More like there. Alright. So, let's put these bad boys back together and then we'll see what it's like to eat. Okay, so, as expected, they pretty much tasted exactly the same. The Grand Mac tasted exactly the same as the Big Mac, except the Big Mac had a little bit more sauce, so... But also the Big Mac was harder to get to because the way the box is on the Grand Mac, there's a lot more room to get your hand in to get it. Whereas on the Big Mac, the box is smaller and more tight with it, with the burger. And so getting it out was more difficult. So a lot of the lettuce and stuff falls straight out. Um, they both have pretty much exactly the same thing. I'm pretty sure they'll be made exactly the same way. Uh, the only difference is the price and the fact that one's bigger than the other. And obviously you'll have like more calories and fat and all the other stuff. So we'll go ahead and say my conclusion here of whether or not the Grand Mac is worth the price uh, or even just genuinely an item that should even be here. And personally, my, my personal opinion is no. The Grand Mac here, I purchased just the Grand Mac, not as a meal. The Grand Mac is £4. See? £3.99 just on its own. Whereas the Big Mac and Fries, as you can see from the top of the receipt, can get for one ninety nine. For one ninety nine. So that means I could get two of these with two fries for the same price as just this on its own. Like... I can't see why you would. Two of these is bigger and more than just one of these, plus you get two fries. So, I would personally not. Because with this receipt, you can't, it's not a one per customer, it's however many receipts you've got. So, if you have six of these receipts, you can go ahead and get six. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's here at the moment, it's limited edition only, so I mean, you'll, that's your choice, but I will never not get another one, I got it literally just to try, uh, but I don't think it's worth it, and it's far too expensive, uh, yeah, I personally prefer Burger King, but they're not open late at night. So, there we go. So there we go, that's been my little bit of a review on this Grand Mac that McDonald's is trying to go through. I'm not going to do the Mac Junior, unless it's like 99p, which I bet it's not. I bet it's £1.99, I bet. So you can get literally the same thing. I'm going to look into that. But I bet it is £1.99, that sounds about right. Anyway. There we go.